In this presentation, we will calculate sales variance. The information will be up top. We'll enter that information into the blue area down below. The inf information up top we have is AQ is going to equal the actual quantity. SQ is going to be the standard quantity. SP is going to be the actual price. And well, that's AP is going to be the actual price, while SP will be the standard price. Then our data is going to have the sales in units, 59 units. The average price is going to be 9,500. That's going to be the average or actual price. And then we're going to have the budgeted sales, what we thought should happen in units uh, 20 or 54. That's what we budgeted to happen. And the budgeted average price is the 10,000. So the budgeted average price is going to be, of course, the standard price. All right, so we're going to put this into our uh, tables up top so that we can calculate the sales price variance and the sales volume variance to get that total sales difference that we have here because we have the same kind of concept breaking these items out into their components if there's a difference between the total sales number that difference can be due to two one of two things or two things combined some combination of two things a difference in the price than what we budgeted it to be and a difference in the amount or number of sales and we want to be able to break out the total variance between those two of those two being the sales price variance and the sales volume variance so we're going to have the actual numbers first so we're going to have the actual quantity which we, we said was aq makes sense and so the actual quantity is going to be equal to the 59 units and we're going to take that and take it times the actual price which is ap which also kind of makes sense and that's going to be equal to the actual price of the 9500 which is the average price here because we're, we got to we that would be the actual we got to average it however because there could be some if there's some variance within the price then we got to work with the averages so then we're going to say this equals the 59 times the 9500 that gives us the 560,500 then we're going to go over to the budgeted side of things, the standards, and we're going to say we have the standard quantity, which is SQ, standard quantity, equals, stands for standard quantity, and that equals the 54. Uh, that's going to be the budgeted sales in units. And then we're going to have the standard price, the standard price, which is going to be equal to the average, or I'm sorry, the budgeted price, what we expected it to be. And that's going to be the 10,000. We're going to multiply those two out now. We're going to say the 54 units times the standard price. That's going to give us the 540,000. So the total difference then, if we just look at kind of like our budget compared to what actually happened, the line item for sales, then having a difference of 560,500 minus 540,000. That's the total uh, difference. However, two things happened here. One, difference in sales price. Two, difference in quantity that needs to be broken out if we want to basically uh, be more detailed in our analysis breaking them out into the sales price variance the sales volume variance that's what we will do here so to do that we're going to take the actual quantity times the standard price so actual quantity ap times the standard price sp the act uh the actual i'm sorry the actual quantity a Q, that's what I said, that's not what I wrote. AQ is going to be equal to the 59. 59 over here. And then the SP, standard price, 10,000. Multiplying those two out is going to be equal to the 59 times the 10,000. That'll give us the 590,000. Now we'll take the difference down here. We're going to say this is going to be equal to the larger number, the 590 minus the 560,500. That gives us 29,500. Is it favorable or unfavorable? Well, let's look at the calculation up top. We could say that this AQ is same as this AQ. The difference thing is the AP and the SP, the actual price and the standard price, the actual price being below the standard or budgeted price. Now, be careful here when you look at this item because you're gonna, you might think it, it, we're usually looking at types of expenses, types of costs, in which case the actual price being below the standard price you would think would be good and if it was a cost. But here it's sales. This is our price. This is what we're selling to other people. So we would like to have had the price higher, the sales price higher rather than lower. So in this case, the actual price is lower. That's not good. It's going to be an unfavorable difference. 
Then we'll take the difference between these two numbers over here, the 590,000 and the 540,000 by saying equals. We'll point to that 590. We'll say minus the 540,000. That gives the 50,000. Is it favorable or unfavorable? Well, let's take a look at these two calculations up top. What's going to be the same? What's going to differ? The SP is the same. The difference is the AQ versus the SQ, the actual quantity, the standard quantity, actual quantity being higher than the standard quantity, meaning we sold more than we budgeted to sell in terms of units. That's good. And this would kind of make sense. I mean, if you looked at this, you'd say, well, yeah, we sold more because the price was lower, maybe, you know, or something like this. That could be maybe we had a sale or something like that. In any case, now we're going to say that we're going to pull these down into our summary. And we'll say that the sales price variance is going to be the 59.5. And that's the unfavorable variance. We can see that the other number is going to be the sales volume variance. Sales volume variance. That's going to be equal to the 50,000. It was favorable. So that's going to be a favorable. And one's favorable, one's unfavorable. We'll subtract the two then, the 50,000 minus the 29, 5,000. And the 50,000, the favorable one is more. So that's going to be a total favorable uh, in total. And that's going to be the total of the total sales uh, variance. So remember, the total sales variance is the difference between these two. So if we take those two, of course, the uh, 560, 500 minus the 540, thousand that's the twenty thousand five hundred which we broke out to its component parts the sales uh, price variance and the sales volume variance and now we can see this and we can say hmm well we lowered the price but maybe that's a good thing because the volume variance went up and we actually had a favorable uh, difference due to that so as you can see how we can break this down into a more analytical type of process for decision making into the future